All right, we're here with Lewis Head Track and Field Coach Dana Schwerting. His Flyers were all over the Midwest this weekend. We'll we'll start first with Andrew McLean's performance uh, in the 3,000 meter run. Coach, talk about Andrew's performance. Well, we obviously went to Iowa State on the bigger track to try and get some national performances that were going to get into the national meet. Uh, we were kind of already on the national list, but we knew that the times weren't going to get in. Um, so we went to a big meet this weekend with him, and uh, he performed really well. He's number two all-time on our Lewis uh, top ten list right now, and he sits in the top ten in the nation right now in the 3K. We're pretty sure that's going to get into the national meet, so we were very excited with his performance. And then at the Chicago Land Championships, you had Kevin Dornkamper winning the 60-meter hurdles, narrowly missing a Provo mark. Talk about him. Yeah, we've been working the last couple of weeks about him, you know, getting more national uh, confidence, thinking that he is someone who belongs in the national list and in the national meet. And we've been working some workouts to try and get there. Um, and he didn't, he didn't uh, disappoint. He's, he's, you know, dropped a bunch of tenths of seconds off his hurdles, and he's, he's right there, two hundredths of a second off the national performance list. Um, hopefully, this next two weeks he can get on that list, and then you know, it sky's the limit from that point on. And then on the women's side, Kayla King and Camille Ferguson continue to impress, both with Provo marks as the Flyers finish second in the Chicago Lane Championships. Yeah, those two in the 60 dash really push each other really hard, and um, you know both of them are climbing up the national list. Kayla had a real kind of a breakout performance, um, and then Camille coming back in the 200 and hitting a lifetime PR, number two all time at Lewis, um, and putting herself um, top 15 in the nation uh, with the time I think probably will get in. Um, so again, that's what we were looking for. You know, on the whole women's side of the Chicagoland Championships, about 90% of our team had season PRs, um, which is what we're looking for this time of the year going into the conference meet in two weeks. So we're ecstatic with where the women's team's at. You know, they're, they're really hitting it hard and times are dropping. We just got to hope some of that rubs off on the men's team in the next two weeks and hopefully we can get on a roll there and anything can happen.